Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the SolAdmin Management application to monitor subscriber applications receiving messages from the Solus Messaging Appliance. What is SolAdmin? SolAdmin is a management application for Solus appliances that can be used to access all management features of the Solus appliances. It is designed for both advanced administrators who are familiar with the Solus appliances and administrators new to using Solus appliances. What does SolAdmin give you? It gives you central monitoring of Solus appliances. SolAdmin is excellent for monitoring a single Solus appliance, but it is also equally capable of monitoring many Solus appliances of varying versions without issue, making it an excellent tool for messaging platform administrators. It is GUI based, which makes it easier to use than the Solus Appliance CLI and allows users to streamline feature provisioning. It also gives easy access to the Solus Appliance real-time messaging statistics. In comparison to software-based message brokers which must often run with diagnostics disabled in order to achieve high performance, the Solus Appliance is always monitoring and collecting detailed statistics. Soladmin makes these easy to monitor with features like stat splitting to see where changes are occurring or with customizable real-time charting. In this demo, we'll make use of real-time charting to monitor client applications, message rates in real-time and observe the impact of different misbehaving clients. Again, in comparison to most software-based message brokers, the Solus Appliance has in-depth details about each client's TCP IP connection. These are crucial when debugging and investigating misbehaving client applications, allowing administrators to separate, for example, whether the network is at fault or if the client application is hung. The combination of these features is what quickly makes the Solus Appliance and SolAdmin the heart of the control center in terms of understanding the end-to-end -end behavior of applications. Today's demo will show you the three scenarios related to subscribing applications receiving messages. First, we'll look at a typical publish subscribe message flow with a single publisher sending messages to the Solus Appliance and these messages being received by subscribers. Once we're comfortable with the background message flow seen in the first scenario, we'll move to the second scenario. Here, a WAN subscriber will be added to demonstrate the effects that a bandwidth limited link can have on message flow. Finally, we'll remove the WAN subscriber and replace it with a simulated slow subscriber and we can then observe and compare the TCP signature of a slow subscriber as seen through SolAdmin. So let's get to the demo. The first scenario is set up as shown in this diagram. The publisher is sending messages to the Solus Appliance. All the connected subscribers have matching subscriptions, so the Solus Appliance will fan out messages to all subscribers. In this demo, there will be five subscribers. SolAdmin will be used to see the message flow and observe the details of the client applications and chart the ingress and egress message rates of the Solus Appliance and individual clients in real time. So let's see this in action. So here you have the SolAdmin application. On the left is a pane where you have the Solus appliances that are currently being managed. In this case we have a single Solus appliance and it also displays hardware specific details such as what blades are currently installed in the chassis. If you select the Solus appliance then the version specific tabs are loaded on the right. In the general tab you are introduced to information like the management IP, the port, Solus OS version, the services that are active and other general Solus Appliance details. Other tabs are for clients, endpoints, where guaranteed messaging, statistics, user management and provisioning, network configuration, VPNs and bridges, SSL, replication, network topology, Solcache, JMS administration and logging. In general, these tabs are out of scope of this demo. For this demo we'll use two screens, the client screen and the statistics screen. In the client screen, you can see information about profiles, usernames, and clients that are connected to the Solus Appliance. We'll use the screen on clients connected to the Solus Appliance. So let's connect some clients. Here, I've created a few scripts to wrap the standard Solus Performance Test Tool SDKperf, which is available for customers. The subscribe will connect SDKperf with five clients, and each client will subscribe to a matching topic. So if we start that, at the top I'm tailing the Solus Appliance event log. The event log shows status events from the Solus Appliance. In general you'd redirect this to syslog, but for the purposes of the demo we'll just tail the file. These are the connect events for the five different clients. So if we come back here we have to refresh. 
Why do you have to refresh? Solid Min pulls the solar supply ants for updates. So it's only on refreshes that new information is fetched from the solar supply ants. If you need the most up-to-date information, you have to refresh the screen. So now you can see we have five clients connected. And if we look, we can look at the statistics for the solar supply ants and we can see that the solar supply ants can keep general statistics about all messages that flow through it. Guaranteed messages, direct messages. Direct messages are Solus's best effort high performance messaging which are similar to what other vendors call non-persistent messaging. If you scroll down, the solar supply ants keeps track of all the control messages, the bytes sent, the current messages per second and current bytes per second, stats on compression, SSL, ingress and egress discards, and aggregate connection statistics. However, sometimes it would be nicer to see this information graphically. So that's where the real-time stats chart plugin for Solidmin can be useful. This plugin allows for four separate charts to be configured and you're able to configure the sliding window for data, so we'll choose five minutes, the interval at which the appliance is pulled, two seconds, and then if you see throughout Solidmin there are these little icons plot chart. If you drag this icon to the stats chart, it will load. So it loads up the various stats that can be plotted. Here, for the Solus Appliance, ingress and egress messages per second are of interest. So let's start this chart. It will start plotting this chart, but without uh, traffic it won't be very interesting. You'll see that both ingress and egress will be at zero messages per second. So let's connect a publisher. Again, I've wrapped the Solus Performance Test Tool in a script this script will publish 1,000 messages per second to the matching topic. So if we start that, you saw the events update. We skip back to the graphs. And you can now see that from zero messages per second, the red line for ingress messages per second has come up to 1,000 messages per second. The blue line has come up to 5,000 messages per second. So this is plotting the ingress and egress rates for the solar appliance as a whole. It's also possible to plot an individual client statistics. If you go select a particular client, grab plot chart again, and then egress rate is of interest. We start plotting. Now the scale is auto scaling, so it'll just sit at 1,000 messages per second. Okay, but it's interesting to note that you can graph each individual client's ingress and egress messages per second without issue. Now that we've been introduced to Solidmin's ability to monitor clients in detail, let's add a WAN subscriber and observe the difference. This subscriber will connect over a 45 megabits per second simulated WAN link with a round trip time of 70 milliseconds and a loss of 0.1%. This is somewhat typical of a trans North American WAN link. Here we've connected to a second development server. This server has been configured to have a simulated WAN network between the server and the Solus appliance, and the simulated WAN network is exactly as outlined in the slides. Again, I'm using the Solus SDK Perf test tool to connect to the Solus appliance, and this is just going to connect a single client with a matching subscription for the traffic. So you can see here now this chart, which was previously had an ingress rate of 1,000 messages per second and egress of 5,000 messages per second, is now bouncing up to 6,000 messages per second and then bouncing around. The reason it's bouncing around is that the WAN link initially was performing well, but then as loss occurs, the throughput of the WAN link decreases. So let's go investigate exactly why that's happening. So again, we come back to our clients, refresh, and now we see our WAN subscriber. So if you double click a client, you get further details on this client, including version, process ID, and other interesting information. But what's particularly important for this demo is the TCP information. Here you can see the receive queue bytes, the send queue bytes, and some statistics on the network health received out of order, fast retransmits, and timed retransmits. So already we can see a problem in that our send queue bytes is quite large, and we have fast retransmits. So already this is indicating that this client is, has an issue. Now if we go to the statistics, the Solus Appliance also makes available the egress queues. These egress queues are the work queues that the Solus Appliance keeps that are on top of the TCP queues. When these queues fill, eventually messages have to be discarded if they are direct messages or best effort messages. And we can see here that this queue has hit its high watermark and that there have been 20,000 discards. If we refresh, we see that this number is also increasing. 
But if we go back to the client statistics, we can see that this client is approximately receiving between 3 and 600 messages per second. Additionally, we notice that the Solus appliance has raised egress message discard event to indicate that messages are being discarded towards this client. So from all these details, you can see that the WAN client is suffering from network issues that need to be investigated by the network administration team. Finally, let's now switch the WAN subscriber for a slow subscriber who can receive approximately 500 messages per second. This will allow us to use the slow admin to observe the difference between a slow subscriber and a bad network using debugging tools available from the Solus appliance as shown in Solidmin. The diagram you now see illustrates this. Here again I've wrapped the SDK perf performance test tool in a script to connect a subscriber but to simulate a delay on every received messages such that the aggregate throughput of this client is about 500 messages per second. So let's start this client. So if you go back to the real-time stats charting, you can see the previous WAN consumer chart. And this time, the egress message rate goes from 5,000 to approximately 5,500 and is smooth. That's because this is not a network issue that's slowing this client down. The client is just slow on every message. So let's jump straight to the details of the client. So now if you open up the details of this client, you can see that in comparison to the WAN consumer where we were receiving fast retransmits and might have seen some timed retransmits, the TCP connection is completely clean except that the send bytes are full. So if you go to the queues again and you refresh, you can see that this consumer is again discarding messages. However, now it's interesting to try to differentiate between a consumer that is slow or a consumer that is stuck. And again, the statistics help you out here. The consumer's egress messages per second is 500 messages per second, and the number of messages delivered to this consumer is constantly changing. You can see that here. So therefore, this consumer is slow, but not hung or deadlocked. Again, the Solus appliance can really be the central part of your debugging in terms of separating different types of application failures. To summarize, what we saw today is the Solus appliance's ability to present detailed statistics about the appliance as a whole and about each client, and to display this in an easy to digest format such as the real-time charting graphs. These TCP details allow administrators to differentiate between client applications that are experiencing network issues versus applications that are slow versus applications that may be hung. It is this ability to look into the details of the Solus appliance and in particular each client TCP connection that is so useful. In closing, I think the key point to ask yourself is whether your current messaging platform can give you this much granularity and insight into the applications that are receiving messages. If you're using Solus's unified messaging platform with Solidmin, this level of detail is easy. You can use the link on the screen to find out more about Solidmin and other Solus products. Thank you.